Welcome to Chemistry with Caroline. In this video, we're going to look at how to calculate percent yield for sort of a typical organic synthesis reaction. So I have written out here in a sterification reaction, the first thing you want to do when calculating percent yield is look for the limiting reagent. So our organic starting material is benzoic acid here, and we have one equivalent of the benzoic acid, and then we have 10 equivalents of the ethanol. And so this is going to be in excess since there's 10 molar equivalents. So this is our limiting reagent, the benzoic acid. And we see that for every one equivalent of benzoic acid, we make one equivalent of our ester product. So the percent yield is defined as how much product you isolated, so what you got, over the theoretical yield, which is the maximum amount that you could have obtained if everything went perfectly, okay? So basically what you got over the theoretical yield, and then we multiply that by 100 to get a percentage. Now, it's important for this calculation that we go through moles, because you can see that my starting material doesn't weigh the same as my product. So I can't just take the grams I started with um, as a theoretical yield. That doesn't work since they don't weigh the same. So I'm going to have to go through moles to calculate what the theoretical yield is. So let's go to the next slide and we'll take a look at that calculation. Okay, so I've redrawn our reaction scheme here. We have the same equivalencies. We're starting out with 0.1 grams of the benzoic acid. So we'll start out with that. And then we're gonna get, for every one molar equivalent of benzoic acid, one molar equivalent of the ethyl benzoate. And then over here in yellow, I have the amount of ethyl benzoate that was actually isolated. So that would be what I got. So right now I'm gonna figure out my theoretical yield. So I'll start with my 0.1 grams of benzoic acid. So I'm going to say BA for benzoic acid. And then I'm going to use the molar mass of benzoic acid so that I can go into moles so that I can do an apples to apples comparison. So there are 122 grams of benzoic acid per one mole of benzoic acid. And I'm interested in figuring out how many moles and eventually how many grams of ethyl benzoate I can get out of this reaction. And so I'm going to use my molar equivalency from the balanced chemical equation here. So for every one mole of benzoic acid that I use, I can produce a maximum of one mole of ethyl benzoate. And then, of course, when we isolate our product, we would weigh it in grams, right? So I'm going to go through the molar mass of ethyl benzoate so that I can get a grams number here. So for every one mole of ethyl benzoate, there's 150 grams of ethyl benzoate. So we can see here, right, I started with grams of benzoic acid. So those are going to cancel out there. And then I went on to moles of benzoic acid. And those are going to cancel out there. So this was a molar mass here that I used. And then here, this is from my chemical equation. So this is just the equivalence from my chemical equation. And then lastly, you can see that I was in moles of ethyl benzoate, and those cancel out. So I end up in grams of ethyl benzoate. So ultimately, when we run the numbers, that means that I would isolate a maximum of 0 0.12295 grams of ethyl benzoate. So that's my theoretical yield. Let's go to the next slide and we'll do our final percent yield calculation. All right, so remember that our percent yield is equal to what we got divided by our theoretical yield, which we have to obtain through a moles to moles comparison using the limiting reagent times 100%. So what we got is this 0 0.08 grams. That's what was isolated, that's given above there. And what we calculated our theoretical yield to be was 0 0.1 two, two, nine, five grams. And then we're going to multiply that by 100. And if we do, that gives us about a 65% yield for this particular chemical reaction, given that 0 0.08 grams of product was isolated. This has been a look at how to calculate percent yield. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share with your friends.